Who's excited to be here? Who's excited to be just seated in these comfy chairs? <laughs> Great, so let me see. Let's get started here. All right, so this is, today I'll be demoing on the Apple TV. And again, this is an early access preview to the application as you see it. Will be launched and available on November 12th. And although I'm launching, well, let's just go right into it. I don't know if you guys saw that. There are little tiny pluses that explode off the big plus. I personally love that animation, it's great. Um, so before I go into this, uh, Although I'm demoing on Apple TV, it will be available on gaming platforms such as Xbox and PlayStation 4, other connected device platforms such as Roku, of course will be available on web, also on mobile platforms. Um, one of the great things about mobile is you'll be able to download all of our content as many times as you want, there's no limits. You'll be able to simultaneously stream on up to four devices, and you'll be able to be simultaneously logged in on up to 10 with up to seven profiles. So what you see here is uh, our current account, we've got four profiles already set up. Uh, my coworker DT is floating around here, so I'm actually going to go ahead and into, go into her profile. So, when you first launch the Disney Plus application, you'll see all of our great trending content, big bold face at the top. So, how many of you have seen Captain Marvel? Alright, good turnout, yes. We've got The Simpsons for fans of The Simpsons, we'll have all the episodes. We've got Disney's Zootopia up here. Star Wars A New Hope, award-winning Free Solo, National Geographic documentary, Disney's Frozen, Finding Dory, and of course tons of other content, this is just the featured content. So if I go down below, not too far. We've got, of course, all of our great brands represented here. We have Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic. You can see the beautiful animation behind the Disney uh, brand. We've got the castle, and we'll go into the world of Disney. So we've got featured content at the top, content like Frozen. We've got a great animation behind. We've got Pirates of the Caribbean. We've got High School Musical. The musical of the series, say that 10 times fast, and other shows that are coming out in movies like Lady and the Tramp. If we scroll down below, we've got content like Wreck It Ralph. Anyone seen that? Yep. Disney's Moana, classics like Honey I Shrunk the Kids, or a personal childhood favorite of mine, Remember the Titans, if you've seen that movie. We've got classics and shorts, the classic original The Parent Trap, Steamboat Willie. The original Tron, and tons of more content here, including a bunch of animated series and originals. And we'll go into the originals a little bit later here. Hopefully you guys can still hear me even in the back. Good? Alright. So next we'll stop at Pixar. Got the classic Pixar animation. We've got great Pixar content like Cars. We've got shorts like Bao. How many of you have seen Bao? Yes, it's a great short. I actually just personally watched it on Disney Plus, and you'll be able to watch it also on November 12th. We've got other content like Forky Asks a Question. I have no idea what Forky goes on in his mind, but I'm also interested in hearing what he wants to learn about. And again, November 12th, you'll be able to find out. Uh, movies like Inside Out, Monsters Inc., Toy Story 3. The list goes on, the incredible, so many movies from the world of Pixar. Next stop, we'll go into Marvel. Any Marvel fans here? Yeah, a lot of Marvel fans. So we've got feature content with Captain Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy, The Avengers, Iron Man, Thor, so many great Marvel titles. We'll actually go ahead and drill into Captain Marvel here, where you can see you can see content details, so a short description of Captain Marvel, of course. You can see extras if you've already seen the movie and you want to get behind the scenes. Uh, deleted scenes, extras, interviews with actors, etc. will be in the extras. If you're interested in finding titles similar, you can go to the related tab also. Um, and actually, let's go ahead and do a little playback. No spoilers, though, of course. Just rewinding this.
course, this is a great tribute to the late Stan Lee. Um, let's say you want to watch Captain Marvel, but you decide you don't have time right now, but you do want to watch it later and you don't want to forget. You can easily add it to your watch list, which we'll show you a preview of in a second here, but for now, that is what that does. Backing out of here, we'll go to a galaxy far, far away. Star Wars fans? Whole bunch. Excellent. We've got featured content here. Star Wars Rogue One, Force Awakens, the upcoming Mandalorian. Oh, and actually one of the great things about the watch list is, say you're a big Star Wars fan and you know the Mandalorian is coming out, it's coming soon, it's not available yet, you can add it to your watch list ahead of time and be notified when it's available and then begin watching when the first episode drops. Of course we have all of the theatrical releases. And finally, our last stop is National Geographic. That is not actually for your National Geographic fans, or maybe you're not a fan yet, but there's a ton of great documentaries on National Geographic, including the World Money Science Fair, Free Solo, The World According to Jeff Goldblum, and so much more content that actually I haven't even seen. Um, did any of you actually get a chance to see Jeff Goldblum earlier? He was here yesterday. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, tons of documentaries and series that look really amazing. I can't wait to see them. So, say you get home, you launch the Disney Plus app on your favorite device, but you're not sure what to watch. We've got a recommended for you that will learn and adapt, and it's on a profile basis. So, you know, there's seven profiles. Each profile, as you watch series, movies, whatever, we'll try to make recommendations that we think you'll find interesting and entertaining. Similarly, we've got featured content and the ever useful continue watching. Say you started watching Captain Marvel on your Apple TV, but then you have to go to work and you're taking the train. You can pick up on your mobile device exactly where you left off. If you don't finish it, you can come back and it'll save your spot. And that works across movies and TV series. Uh, another way to navigate, of course, is if you know exactly what you want to watch. Say you want to watch Aladdin. You can go to search, enter in Aladdin, and pull up the details right away. Likewise, if you remember, I added Captain Marvel to our watch list, and there's already a handful of other titles here. Some of these are DT's favorites, I believe. Um, but again, just an easy way to access content that you're uh, already keen on watching. Another way to navigate is by movies. And within movies, you get access to all of the movies available on the Disney Plus service. Of course, there are so many that we've offered different ways of quickly bucketing them. So you've got the featured content, you can see original content here. If you really just want to see the whole entire list, you can go A through Z, but you might be scrolling for a really long time, so maybe not the most efficient way, but it's available if you so choose. And of course, by different genres. Similarly, you can do the same for series. And it should look pretty familiar. And then finally, we have a special place for our original content. So again, we talked about The Mandalorian, Lady and the Tramp, and some of these others. Noelle's coming up. If you looked outside around the corner, we've got costumes from Noelle, which look amazing. And so many more originals coming exclusively to the Disney Plus service. Finally, one of the things I think is really cool. So I mentioned there's seven profiles. You can also choose your own avatar for each profile. And we've worked really hard to get, there's over already, I think, over a hundred different profile avatars and we'll be continuously adding even more. So hopefully there's one for everybody in the family. And then, see a couple little ones in the audience, but if you do have a child, we have a special place for them. So if I go into Jack's profile, we get a special interface and slightly different layout Bigger imagery, a little bit less text, but content that's specifically curated for your children. So you can, you know, rest assured that you're giving them, you know, you can give them control and they can watch content and know that it's generally safe for their viewing. Um, whether, you know, that's Mickey Mouse and Friends, Disney Princesses, if they're getting to superheroes or animals in nature, there's something for them for sure as well. Go back to the primary profile. And that's the actual end of the demo, but, um, I'll open the floor to you.